welcome to Maths Guru channel. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. In this video, I am going to explain 10th class maths chapter 7 coordinate geometry in the 9th question. Second bit, I am going to explain. Actually, this question is they given the 4 points. By using that 4 points, which type of quadrilateral will form? We should show that. Okay. So, for that, let us see the 4 points. Now, I am finding the distance between the any two points so a b b c c d d a and also diagonals a c b d i am going to find let us see a b distance so x1 y1 x2 y2 square root of x2 minus into minus plus x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is equal to here 3 plus 3 6 6 square plus 1 minus 4 minus 4 whole square. Okay. So here 6 6 is 36. 4 4 is 16. Square root of if you add these two values 12 4 5 52. 52 units. Square 52. Square root of 52 units people. Now similar way BC distance also we should find it. So x1 y1 x2 y2. Square root of x2 minus x1 so 1 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now square root of 1 minus 3 will give us minus 2 right so minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 whole square minus 3 minus 1 will give us minus 4 okay now square root of 2 square is 4 4 square is 16 so here we got it root 20 units root 20 units next cd distance also once find so when we are going to cd c is x1 y1 d is x2 y2 so we x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus of minus plus whole square ok so here minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 whole square here 4 whole square. Square root of 36. 6 is 36. 4 4 is 16. Square root of 52 units. Okay. Now DA. Area of DA. So when we are talking about that. AD. So X1 by 1. X2 by 2. Otherwise you can take X1 by 1. X2 x2 y2 no problem at all so whatever you can take you can take so x2 minus x1 minus 3 minus into minus plus x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square now minus 3 plus plus 5 so plus 2 will give so here 4 square square root of 4 plus 16 square root of 20 units. Now, see here, here AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD and uh, next to BC is equal to DA. BC is equal to DA. Okay, so opposite sides are equal in length we got it here. See, actually if opposite sides are equal in length that is a parallelogram right so here a b c d here a b is equal to c d a b is equal to c d these two are equal these two are equal so opposite sides are equal we got it now what about diagonals once we can find the distance diagonals that is a c first so if you are talking about a c now x1 y1 x2 y2 so x2 minus minus into minus plus so whole square plus y2 minus y1 so here y2 minus 3 y1 minus 5 whole square square root of 4 square plus minus 8 whole square ok so here 16 plus 8 eight is up. 
Square root of 64, 16. 10, 7, 8. Square root of 80 units. Now what about BD? Let's check BD diagonal also. So BD diagonal means this is x1 by 1, x2, y2. Right? Now see here x2 minus x1 whole square. See y2 minus y1 whole square. So here minus 8 whole square 0 square. Okay, minus 1 plus 1 will become 0. 8 at the 64 units. But diagonals are not equal. Right? Here diagonals are not equal. Means that AC is not equal to BD. If any, in any quadrilateral, if opposite sides are equal in length and diagonals are not equal, that is a parallelogram. That is a parallelogram. So, ABCD is a Parallelogram ABCD. Why? Because we got the conditions now. So, I will take the screenshot. What is that condition? AB is equal to CD means opposite sides are equal in length but diagonals are not equal. If that condition is there, that quadrilateral is called parallelogram. Okay? So, third bit also there in the question. Same, you can find it, you will get the parallelogram. Okay, I hope you understand. Let's take the screenshot. Next, I am going to explain one more question for you. Tenth question. So, before that, just I am giving two minutes for you. Just we are finding the all the distances only by using the formula. Okay, so with this ninth question is over. Now, now I am going to move. Next to 10th question. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Support me. Have a nice day.